Katie is bringing back a strong defensive core, led by edge rusher Malik Silla. He finished last year with 32 tackles, six sacks, and 12 tackles for loss. Silla is six foot six, 230, and has plenty of room to add mass, which is why he is projected as a possible first rounder in the NFL. Look for Silla to give district coaches more sleepless nights before he heads to AN to play his college ball. If you thought we were done with the Katie defense, think again. Linebacker Ty Kana was a unanimous first team all district selection in 2020 and will be back for more this year. He finished with 72 tackles, three sacks, and 11 tackles for loss. Kana was the newcomer of the year as a sophomore when he recorded 95 tackles on the year. It's going to be hard to run on the Tigers with Kana on the field. He'll be heading to USC for his college career. At Taylor running back, Michael Whitaker will be hard to bring down in 2021. As a junior, Whitaker ran for 804 yards and nine touchdowns and will be relied on heavily as a young Mustang team gains experience. He was second team all district last year and hopes his speed mixed with agility will get him a first team selection this year. The best returning wide receiver in this district is Josh McMillan from Katie Tompkins. McMillan caught 34 passes for 529 yards and eight touchdowns last year, including two key scores in the Falcons upset of Katie. He was a first team all district selection last year and will help Tompkins with their quarterback transition from Jalen Milrow to Cole Francis. McMillan is committed to Houston Baptist for his college ball.